Let's bring together the best ideas, the ideas I hear from you based on your experiences. Let's work to identify the obstacles that struggling schools are facing and overcome them before considering closing. Because that is a strategy that will undoubtedly help more children. So let's stop pretending that the conditions in students' lives that hamper their learning are things we can ignore. Let's build a foundation of success, a model that we can share with other struggling schools, and finally begin to close the achievement gap that has plagued this system and our country for far too long. And on this front, we will lead by example. Today, I am proud to announce that the United Federation of Teachers has partnered with the Harlem Children's Zone, the City University of New York, the Children's Aid Society, the Center for New York City Affairs at the New School, the Coalition for Educational Justice, and Good Shepherd Services to identify the obstacles that some of our most challenging schools are facing and design a support system that is geared for their success. Chronic absenteeism is something that I dealt with constantly as a teacher. But I was surprised to learn that 90,000 elementary school children in the city of New York miss more than a whole month of school every year. We went out into the community and we found people through common ground. We found people who were willing to work with us and said, this is something that is shameful and we cannot continue to allow it to happen. What we are planning is to choose a group of schools and bring these services into buildings. We will do this involving community-based organizations to analyze the needs of the schools and then coordinate all of the services. We will involve the school staff, obviously, and have a full-service community school model. That is what I consider to be common sense and the real way to help children. We will find out in the coming weeks if this critical proposal will receive federal funding. But if it doesn't, I am telling you we are all committed to move and find the funding to make this project work. I am confident that we have not only formed strong partnerships, but we have also built a great model that will set an example not only for New York City, but for the entire country. We will demonstrate just what it means to be a community and to do the hard work necessary for, to support families and to provide quality instruction for all children. So let's tap into the resources already in our communities to knit together a safety net so that all our students can succeed, so that our teachers can succeed, so that our schools can succeed, and so that there aren't any excuses. What we are interested in is overcoming the obstacles that so many of our children and families face. As your president, I vow to fight for the creation of a system where our schools are no longer pitted against one another and instead are supported, where good ideas are shared and collaboration encouraged, where your skills are valued, your talent nurtured, and your potential unleashed. Because we have the best teaching force this city has ever seen, and right now you are not being allowed to live up to your potential. Instead of testing our students until they are proficient, we should be teaching them and encouraging them until they soar. So I ask you to join me. Join me and your fellow educators in this great union as we lay the foundation for our next 50 years. A foundation that has teacher voice at the center of the debate that includes a well-rounded curriculum to prepare our students not for a test but for life, that provides the support necessary to make sure our students don't fall through the cracks, that nurtures and develops our educators so that we can do the job that needs to be done on behalf of all of our children. I'm talking about a foundation that will serve to bring this country back from very tough times and create a bright future for our students it's a foundation that we can all build together. So I ask you, who are we? I ask you, who will always be there to stand with the community, to stand against things that will harm the community?
And who are we? And I ask you, who will always stand with the school and the children inside of it to make sure that no harm comes to them, no matter what people from the outside are trying to do? And who are we? And I ask you, who will stand up for every single child in their classroom at all times, no matter what challenges that they face? And who are we? Thank you all very, very much.